Well, Dr. Lisa, here's an email, and it's from a woman who has a history with P-words, polyps. Linda in Shadyside, Ohio writes, Dear Dr. Lisa, I think that I now have another cervical polyp because it almost feels like I have a tampon in. What makes these polyps form, and am I in danger of developing cancer? Well, most of the time, these are benign, meaning they're non-cancerous. And basically, they are benign growths on the, the cervix, which is just at the end of the uterus, and they grow out, and they can be very small, or they can be rather large. And that's probably what it's like if she actually feels a mass or something in her, um, in, in her vagina. But the other thing that can happen is you can have symptoms like intermittent bleeding, um, bleeding with intercourse, heavy periods. So we do want to take these off to make sure, absolutely sure, because in very rare cases, they could be precancerous or cancerous. But for the most part, they are all benign, and they're really easy to remove. Most of the time that we can remove them at the time of your pelvic exam, we can just take what we call a um, ring forceps, grab onto it. This sounds really horrible, but you just twist, <laughs> just grab it, and it doesn't really hurt because there are not a lot of nerves in, in, in the, within the polyp and around the cervix. So you just twist it off, put it in a specimen jar, and send it off. But it's not painful, but it's and not it's a painful, necessary and, thing, and so get yes, it checked out. Exactly.